Well, it's um, we're up at, in the mountains, Chiang Mai, the, whatever it is, temple, overlooking the airport. I'll turn around. There is another, there's a temple here somewhere. You've got to take your shoes off, but everything's wet. So we'll get around to that. Um, the rain has eased off, so that's good. Uh, looks like lots more gold, lots of Buddhas, lots of tourists, and uh, more cash. We haven't got cash in Thailand, you buggered. Right. Right, we're still on our way to Chiang Rai. We're cooking eggs in a, a geothermal hot spring. Uh, this is our eggs. Here's our eggs in a basket. 20 baht. I don't know what that is. So we're boiling up some eggs naturally. Uh, these people really know how to make a dollar. They do anything to make a dollar. On our way to Chiang Rai, uh, it, uh, it's just like a bus stop here. There's jewellery and artefacts and all sorts of crap. They'll try to sell you anything in this place. Uh, beautiful gardens, nice people. Um, it's a good little restaurant. We stop here and had breakfast. Uh, not, not expensive, 200 bar. What's that? About eight dollars for two. Uh, it was good. We're at the White Temple in Chiang Rai. I don't know if you can take photos inside, so I'll get this going. It's beautiful. Uh, they charge for anything here. Just had a piss. They wanted five baht. So uh, I think that's going to be the, the the way it's going to be here for the next couple of days. So uh, we'll head off inside and uh, we'll see how we get on. Well, I don't know. How, I'm going to be taking a a million videos of this because it's so big uh, I'll try and catch what I can catch I don't know if I can film inside or not alright we're walking in here I don't know the spooky part about this I don't have no idea what he's saying everything's in Thai here oh, a little bit of English do not go down the stairs okay um, it's a pretty impressive temple. I don't know whether I got this in the other videos. I'm just sort of taking snapshots as far as I can go. Um, it looks like it's made out of plaster with some reinforcing in it and the mirror has been glued into it and there's thousands of pieces. There's certainly a lot of work to make it. The other side of the temple. <laughs> I don't know how much this would have cost to build, but it wouldn't be cheap, that's for sure. And the charge us 100 baht, which is about four New Zealand dollars each, is uh, I don't think it's too much to ask. A lot of work here. Well, I was right, you weren't allowed to take photos inside. Uh, pretty well kept sort of a place. They should be for 100 baht each to get in. Now it's starting to rain. I'm dying of thirst. I drink about three or four litres of water a day because I sweat out that much. Uh, it's a magnificent place. Really, really is magnificent in every respect. Have a look at that. Fantastic. Uh, some places let you film inside. This one doesn't. There seems to be no rhyme or reason. What do we got here? Hear no evil. See no evil and speak no evil. It is so much. This is such a beautiful place. There's so much work has been done here. And this is more behind us. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's more than one temple in here, we just found this one. Uh, and it looks like it's got a women's toilet in it. Maybe it's a women's toilet looking like a temple, I don't know. Anyway, we're heading out to get some lunch because I'm dying of thirst. Well, we're in the 
cave of art. I don't know if any of this will come out. Don't leave me. I'm here beside you. A bit spooky in here. Huh? This is like the ghost train. <laughs> I can't even see my feet. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop this here. I take a video. This is the cave of art. I put her in there. So, geez, I've done a lot of work here. A beautiful bit. Stalactites, stalagmites, fish, there's all sorts. Fun Yen, the biggest, the goddess of mercy. This is the biggest statue I've ever seen. You may pick up some <laughs> small people around there, but uh, that is huge. Uh, I can't estimate how high it is. Uh, maybe 16 stories. Wow. We're catching a train up. I'm not walking all them strips here. I'm not walking. Pretty relaxed place. Even the police look relaxed. No gun. He's in flip flops. Uh, on their way up. Here we go. Right. Here's all the steps I refused to climb. We caught, the, caught, caught a little trolley bus up. Um, this is another huge. Have a look at the size of that thing. Guan Yi, Goddess of Mercy. Absolutely beautiful temple. We lit some joysticks the Buddhist way. Um, <laughs> I can't even estimate how big this statue is. It's absolutely huge. It's, uh, it's 75 metres high. Right now we're underneath that big statue of Grand Yen, the Goddess of Mercy. Looks like there's a lift that takes you up to the top. I don't know, there's tables here. It's not a place to eat, it's a place to worship. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see, if we can get a ride in the lift up here, I'll go up, otherwise I'm not climbing. Here we bought um, a bag of rice for the orphanage, 100 bars, about four New Zealand dollars. I think it's a good deal. Uh, they don't charge you anything to get in here. It's, everything's a donation only. It makes a good change. This is a, this is the Blue Temple. I'm just about templed out. I'm sort of uh, done with temples, really. <laughs> Every last one of them has got steps. And. Uh, They are well built, I mean, you can't criticise them, it's their religion, the Buddhist religion, religion uh, same in Malaysia, it's all, uh, all good stuff, all kind people, I mean, Malaysians worked out a long time ago, shooting the shit out of each other for 20 years, didn't work, so now they've worked out that the Muslims, Christians and Buddhists all, all get along without too much trouble. Uh, inside the Blue Temple, uh, like all of them, they're well done. I mean, they're not cheap structures. I mean, if you look at the woodwork, it's, it's perfect. I'm right into that cabinet making. Bells, people come here to pray. They give donations. It's, uh, it's all good stuff. Here's our hotel. Uh, got our own pond. Koi carp. Uh, beautiful place. Swimming pool with the youngsters making a hell of a racket, but they'll quieten down soon enough. Uh, don't know what the mosquitoes are like, but there's a little mosquito net over our bed. Um, I think we'll try the restaurant here tonight. This is the most expensive hotel. It's quite good, it's about three or four rooms. Uh, got a hot tub and everything. Um, it's uh, really nice, but it's the most expensive one. It's about 132 New Zealand a night. And like all of them, if they're no good, they get a bad review. Breakfast, nothing wrong with this. It all looks good. Sausages, bacon, omelette, potatoes. Um, here's the breakfast bar. They've got everything that opens and shuts in here. They make your omelette, fried eggs, lovely people. They've got a toast machine. 
his juices, coffee, you name it. It's a um, wonderful uh, ambience here by the river. Yeah, I love it. Very good, this guy. He's very good. I was thinking the music is coming from somewhere. <laughs> I thought it was coming out of a speaker. Don't ask me how it works, but it works. down by the river that's where we had our meal last night uh, they make Italian food there and it's beautiful believe it or not there's some spaghetti it was lovely it looks like they got barbecues down here so in the tourist season this is not the tourist season it's the start of the monsoon so they probably have parties and barbecues down there they got a playground for children and swings and all sorts of stuff I really love this hotel this river is uh, upside down it's sort of like the the Northern Wire River, uh, muddy, and dirty, um, but the mosquitoes here are so huge, man. You need chicken wire to keep them out. So they're big bastards. And there's a lot of European birds here, like pigeons and miners. I don't know if you can see them. There's a whole bunch of miners here, and it looks like a blackbird. All right, that's it. Uh, outdoor PowerPoint nailed to a tree. Doesn't look uh, <laughs> very weather tight to me. Quite nice having breakfast next to the river. They've got these chairs and umbrellas out here. You can come out and read a book and relax. It's a beautiful hotel. I love it, but it was expensive. Um, 3,400 bar, so that's... Uh, oh, Lord, I can't work it out. Divide it by $42 New Zealand for a 1,000. Uh, it's probably about $48 a night, New Zealand. Bye. <laughs>